Hi, I'm here to talk about radio etiquette. Radio is your friend. Theo. Theo is my friend too, but a radio is more important. So today we will discuss the simple rules of radio etiquette. At the end, at the beginning of each day, you go to your boss or assistant boss to get your radio. The first step to radio management is to make sure you have your radio on you at all times. This can be disastrous when on a movie set. Three, two, one, action. Oh no. Oleg missed the cue. Was Oleg at fault? No. Oleg wasn't at fault. Was it because Oleg got no cue over the radios? Was the radio man at fault? Yes. Was it because his radio was in his pad bag? Yes. Now, let's see what happens when her cue man has his radios. Three. Two, one, action! Well done, Oleg. Oleg did a good job. See, when the radio man has his radios. At the end of each day, you put the radio back in its charger. Holder. If your boss or assistant boss at the end of the day tells you to keep the radio on you or in your bag for example that is what we call in the industry as passing the buck basically the boss or assistant boss has too much to worry about and can't manage you as well as the radios so they pass the buck in the case you've taken your radio in your pad bag and in a plane on the way home. The thing not to do is to blame your bosses or assistant bosses by texting them messages of lies and hatred. Thank you for watching this presentation on radio etiquette. I hope you find the information useful. Thank you. I am Marcus. Bye.